Pikachu Hex, I would say kind of a sleeper, a sleeper, a SD sleeper, pick. a hidden boss, if you will, yeah. in South Dakota. He's on the PR, but he's definitely not. I feel like he definitely should be higher. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Hex, uh, I think hurt a lot by their lack of attendance. attendance. Yeah. Not lack of results. Don't get it twisted. Their results are pretty great, but they just didn't show up to a whole lot of stuff. And so um, I think that sort of influenced how people voted for him on the PR. But um, this tournament is one where you really can prove yourself. And we'll see if uh, Hex can do that against Zen here in game one. He's also riding off the high of beating probable North Dakota PR. Hero awesome. In a matchup he's never played before. So even though South Dakota only has one Pikachu, but I do not think they've played. We can't count like matchup inexperience to matter too much because Hex navigated it through last time perfectly. Right. Hex definitely good at adapting, but I mean, Zen, you can't get where you're at on the Nebraska rankings without being good at adapting too. Good so this is going to be a spicy set. Here we go. Both players sort of trading blows here. Oh, and the out of shield game, not potent enough for Zen. Oh, he's there. dead. The jab to backer. Get will the, take first the first stock at 40%. Stock. Holy smokes. Reminder, this is best of three as well, and Zen is our number one seed. This is best of three. Zen is the number one seed. This would be probably the upset of the tournament so far if we saw Hex take it over Zen here. So uh, hold on to your seats, everybody. Zen. Hex got to be a real about hardcovering here. Zen's just kind of looking for a down air. Looking for, you know, I think that was Zen looking to down air the up beat for right. Krom, right? Yep, absolutely. Because that is a really vulnerable part that, that Krom has on the recovery, but... Hex understanding that using the air dodge, and now we have a ledge trap here. Good back throw, good air conversion. Hex doing such a good job of being careful how he uses his up. He's not going to ledge through, he can death smash. That's going to kill on yep, Town of City, definitely though. Definitely kill. Good catch from Zen there. Understanding Hex was pressured in the corner there, wanted to get back center stage. Uses that falling there to confirm into the down smash attack. And keep in mind, Hex took the stock at 40, and then Zen took the stock, answered back, but only taking 40%. Exactly, yeah. This game is going to be. As even as, as games can be here, both players really, really vicious on the sticks here. Oh, geez. Scary getting grabbed at ledge by Pikachu. Read the DI correctly. That could just be death. Yep, Hex doing a good job staying patient. Zen also, though, we're not seeing Zen overextend very much. And, <laughs> and that's what you want to do, especially against Krom. <sighs> it can be scary overextending. Zen's playing patient. Absolutely. Zen is definitely one player I noticed when I was looking at sets they played. They do not overextend. They do a good job of just playing patient and forcing you to come to them. Definitely, and, and we're seeing that right now with this Thunder Jolt usage, forcing Hex to make an option. Zen calling out that run-up shield and getting a good punish off in here. Corner. Hex is off stage without a jump, and that will definitely be the stop. Yeah, just got to capitalize on that air dodge. And Zen took another stock, only taking an additional 20%. Seems like Zen got a little overwhelmed by the momentum on the first stock, but then took time to slow down and find his pace, and now he's just in control. Definitely, but... Oh, hold your horses. That back air to dash attack. Pretty potent combo there, but Hex starting into back here. Avoids the thunder. And, oh, this Ooh, ledge trap is just amazing. And amazing Hex tech chase. Evens it back up right away. Got an even game last stock here on Town and City. Oh, here we go. Down throw combos here for Pikachu. Quick Down 30%. throw to upper. Really smart combo there. Good job going to the platform. Uh oh. Ooh, oh, good my on the goodness. Jump. An aggressive option from Hex actually working out in his favor. It, it looked aggressive, but actually he drifted back and waited for Pikachu to commit to the fair, and then he jumped forward with the fair. It looked aggressive, but that was him playing entirely reactionary. See, and that's why we got co-commentators. My man correcting me on the mic. I appreciate it. Here's Zen trying to close out the stock. Oh, jeez. Oh, yep. Good air dodge down to the ground there. Doesn't want to get hit by the Oh, what is that oh. up, B? Very oh. ambitious. That's the wrong way. Can't get uh, an up smash off that. Back here from Zen there, trying to close this stock out. Hex able to get stage control back really quickly, though. This is still absolutely terrifying for Pikachu. Town and City is a small stage at the ledges. Oh! Krom can just hit you with a big move. Yeah, Hex went for parry F smash there and didn't oh, find Jesus. it. Oh, both players feeling each other out. The uh. overshoot dash attack will find its mark, but doesn't kill. Oh, God! Oh, oh Jesus. Good DI there from Zen. Beautiful DI. Yeah. Panic roll working out for him. Oh, Clank's the dash attack. This up. is a really scary situation for both players. Both Zen, of course, in the lead right now, but... Hex just really needs to find one opening. Like oh, that, like that! Oh, oh, oh that's gonna be it. That'll that's be, gonna it. be it. 
Good stuff from Zen there, but also great stuff from Hex. Even after he had, it seemed like he had all his momentum stuffed out, he was still keeping it close and still putting pressure on him. I mean, I really only have one thing to say, and that is holy schmoly. Holy schmoly. This is a good set We so are far. in for a set. You know, everybody in, in the audience right now in the stream chat, you know, you picked a good time to watch because Hex has got to be one of our most explosive players. Going up against a Titan like Zen, I mean, this is some good gameplay that we're strapped in here for today. Zen, taking a moment, getting a drink of water. I will do the same. Must be nice. It is. Not, hey, you want a water? Is there actual water? Yeah, there's hella water. Oh, please here. give me one. I am. I've been dying. <laughs> All right, you got the first like 30 seconds. I will take the first 30 seconds. We are moving into game number two of the winner semifinal set between Hex and Zen. Zen looking for some sort of edge guard with that thunder. Doesn't find it, but the back air to ledge trap is doing him some good stuff here goes for the down throw combo into again that up air fair is just so potent and there's the spike what that Zen was looking for first game that's a little bit of knowledge check there as well uh crom's up he does not have a hitbox at the top of it when he goes up he has it in front of him so if you just go directly top oh he got oh the armor the armor through that but yeah just just as uh master my, my co-commentator was saying you know Krom doesn't really protect himself coming up, so if you can line yourself up, it's a little scary up there because you can get spiked, but if you know what you're doing, it's a, a pretty free spike. So Zen definitely understands that and uh, took full advantage. <gasps> Did he low profile that? Or was the read. vulnerability not done? That was crazy. I, I'm not sure. Hex just barely losing uh, that opportunity there. And Zen now in the driver's seat again. Yep. Oh, do not get up into that. All right. Leave that alone. Good back air there. Nice back air. Hex trying to let, let's drop. Oh, and the quick attack is just such a good option to get back on stage. Zen. Ooh, jeez. Good recovery. Ooh, good Goes trump. to the trump, but misses the back, drop off back air afterwards. Yeah, no punish. Hits the Pikachu out of the forward air. Does not really deal with it. Ooh. Slap him out of the air. And I feel like I feel like Zen's been recovering back to stage for the past minute of gameplay, but. If they're in the lead, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, yep. both players are at kill percent. Zen is doing what he needs to do to delay this match and and, and play it out here. Ooh, I like the, I like the idea of the turnaround shield and then look, look for the grab. But Ooh. Hex had the awareness to just uh, run away. No, yeah. bad DI on the floor there. The punish on the counter was just what Zen needed there to get a, another stock lead here. Zen up three stocks to one. Make that two to one. Two to one. We've seen comebacks before here. Especially at this tournament, but oh, he tried to parry it, but there's another hit you got to parry on the way down oh, against Pikachu. Man, making comebacks is something else. We'll see if Hex can do it. The character is light and they can be exploited in that way, but they also just have some of the best movement options and one of the best projectiles in the game. They do not have to interact with you if they don't feel like it. That's true. But you can't sleep on my man Hex with the Mart or the what character is this? Crom. <laughs> you got it. Oh, good air dodge. Ooh. There. It's still caught though. Zen in disadvantage here, able to make it down really, really well. I mean, Zen's cognizance of, of you know, what options to pick in disadvantage, what options to pick oh, in geez. That's uh, right. a recovery situation is just so, so smart. Good air, get off me, and oh, call out and the, the punish on the aggressive with the fair. Good stuff from Zen there. Hex had some momentum going into game one, but then did a good job of just, or Zen did a good job of just kind of figuring out, okay, this is what he's going to do, this is how I need to beat it, I'm going to play way slower. And then going into game two, we saw him just kind of methodically dissect everything Hex was going to do. I totally agree. I mean, that that first game, it looked like it could go either way, but Zen definitely made the adjustments game two. But we're going to be moving into a, 